Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. This is the iFi Audio iDSD Diablo. Now, unlike some channels, um, I've decided not to monetize my videos now going forward. It's an experiment, so you won't see any adverts. So instead, I'm just going to show you a couple of links. One is uh, my Twitter, so if you want to catch up with me on Twitter, you can. If you want to ask me any questions below, feel free, I'll answer them. And if you want to buy me a coffee or make a small donation, that is the link to my PayPal account. As I said, there are no adverts going forward. So continuing with the review, I've got, um, to sh I'll show you what's in the box because I was quite surprised of how much you get in this box. I've had a few uh, iFi Audio products and I was a bit taken aback by the presentation. It was pretty good. So let's go check that out. Okay, so this is the box itself. I've got to say, as a uh, box goes, this is probably the most impressive um, box I've seen from iFi Audio. This is obviously um, a huge box for the size of the amp, so what else is in the box? There's lots of specs, which I've already shown you. Um, as you can see, that this does all, all kinds of um, Burr Brown chips, does MQA, and it's got a ton of specifications on the back of the box here, as you can see. Um, but some of the key bits that I just point out that it does um, in turbo chunks out 12 watts, five watts in normal uh, mode and eco is two watts. And in eco mode, you're pretty much gonna drive the majority of your standard headphones with so much ease. Um, it's absolutely incredible. But let's take a look now what you get in the box. Once you've taken the sleeve off, you get this lovely presentation where you lift up the box like so. And as you can see, this is beautifully packaged in here. This is the actual unit itself, which I'll come back to in a second to go through this in a bit more detail. I need to say it's bright red, as you can see. So what else is in this packaging that has been provided? Wow. So um, you've got the warranty card. It shows you um, how you do some of the connections here. Um, tells you what the type A is, everything. Uh, gives you a note for charging as well and explains how that works. Also, some of the dual lock fasteners, which is particularly useful to stop stuff sliding if you stack stuff after sales. You then have the um, sort of little mini how to use manual side of things, which I do like these little things that they do, and the different power modes that you've got. Um, and it does say here, so for eco, for high sensitivity IEMs, and you'll get about 12 hours use for normal for medium sensitivity headphones nine hours turbo for the most demanding headphones um, and it shows you the leds on the front what colors they go depending on what you're looking at so all in all this is quite a nice little thing but what else do we get in the box well this is a surprise so this is a rather nice case um yeah Look at that, you can run the cables through and out from both sides. That's neat, that's really neat. Let's open this up. So you've got, you can actually have, it's got like a little divider thing and this obviously yeah, detaches as well. So that's the um, strap for it. And if you're gonna use this and connect this to um, a power amp use it as, so use this as a DAC and a preamp this is a balanced to the XLR connectors it's really nice I love the fact that you've got the holes here to put stuff through you've also got here this look at this this out they've actually included the purifier so this is this is quite heavy actually considering what it is so this is the I don't know if you can see it's the I um, Purify 3, active noise cancellation, rebalances, regeneration, and that is included as standard and obviously gives you the slightly different USB output there. That's really neat. And I do love this case, so you can actually put this in 
with the other, the other, even the IMs or something, you've got a lovely sort of travel way of traveling with it because this is actually portable as well. But then you've got these two other compartments, so let's take a look at what we have here. You can't deny Wi Fi do give you tons and tons of options here. And this is their five volt charger. Uh, so it's got the EU plug and UK plug, of some in the UK. And this is their iPower um, charging brick, so you can actually use this permanently connected as well. So what's in this side? What other stuff do they include? Cable-wise, so you can actually use this. So in here, we have the USB. This is to go fit inside here, like so. And that's really handy because that is such a that's a really solid connection. And what this one does, this cable, this um, is pretty neat because this is for if you want to use um, the power adapter, you use this here, and that takes it to the USB C to charge your Diablo. If you've got any headphones with um, 3.5, you need that adapter to make them 6.3. So. In essence, and this is the um, final part of the puzzle, which is um, here, you've got the SP, SP diff input as well. You've got that there. We take a closer look at this unit. What you'll see here is that we have the SP diff input. Now this actually um, does coaxial, optical, and doubles up as a 3.5 millimeter input as well. You've got the balanced output, the 4.4 balanced output, and I showed you the cables that you can have that are provided to run to an amp. Um, so you can power, send it to a power amp. USB power separate, and you've got the USB input on here. There is no other options on this at all. If we look at the front here, this is the 6.3, um, output for your headphones that's your balance 4.4 this is the little switch that you have from turbo normal and eco always start on eco and that's your on off switch like so okay let's talk about sound quality so now you've seen what's in the box i'm going to show you these are the list of the tracks that i used um, in terms of headphones i use headphones from uh, hi-fi man like sandara that sort of stuff ananda uh, Sennheiser, the 600s, which I've got, the 560s, a range of IEMs, the FIO FD5, FH7, and some AKGs I've got lying around. Just wanted to get a mix of different headphones with these different tracks uh, to give an idea of what this actually sounds like. And does it matter that it hasn't got the X space feature and the super wide stereo that you can get on the um, other versions. This is a pure, a purest form. Um, it's all about sound quality, less gimmicks, less whatever. And I'll be honest, just talking about the X Space and the sort of spatial stereo feature that they have 3D stereo. Um, I didn't miss the 3D stereo bit, but on some of my weaker headphones, um, yes, it would have been nicer if it did have that X X Space feature on it. And the icing on the cake for this would be if it had really good Bluetooth in it as well. But we're asking too much probably. This is meant to be a purest form of um, DAC that's also portable, that is supplied with the power cable so you can leave it permanently connected. It's also supplied, as you can see, with decent um, balanced outputs from 4.4 to XLR so you can plug into an amp. And this is red hot, absolutely red hot. Red color, red hot sound. And it's, it's not as warm as some of um, the other products that I have, it's far more neutral. I actually preferred that because it was a very clean sound. It also brings out poor, if you have a poor quality recorded track, I did try a few just to see how that works, you know it you know it the um the transparency the, uh, is fantastic it's got very very good separation 
very you could tell if you're listening to some or, um, orchestral you could hear the instruments if you're playing guitar you could hear the strings it had this um feel and ambience that was very toe tapping very musical which i really like there's no point in listening to ultra clinical music if it's too clinical unless you're on a sound a recording studio which is really important when you listen to your music you want to just get fully engaged into it and you do with this so treble i say it's not over bright but it's it's uh it's not dull either you've got vocals are clear uh, female vocals male vocals are very moving and the thing that's going to get you with this is the power this machine has when you get a crescendo or when you get a sudden um extra dynamics suddenly ramp right up really quickly you might jump the first time because this just sends power to your headphones like nothing else and it just explodes um it doesn't even doesn't technically explode but it just literally just goes whoosh up and the jump in volume um it doesn't clip it's just fantastic um mid-range is spot on it's a very um precise mid-range it's very delicate um you've got good layering as well in the music but i just found what i was listening to pop i was listening to classical jazz blues um some trance music various dance modern pop music just going through different genres this thing just utterly shined also got mqa support if you're a tidal fan you might think that's great um doesn't bother me either way but it has it i do like fat it's got rubber feet obviously built in here just a side point there but overall you can you've seen the tracks that i've used with this um it's it's very it's just fantastic the authority um the, the transparency and the and the musicality is just off the charts um but i'll be honest um if you haven't got the ability to eq and you do need some headphones with a bit more bass you might miss it sometimes that x bass feature as i said um but overall when you listen to music for long periods of time I just love this. I absolutely love it, and um, yeah, it's it's a hot piece of kit. Um, I'd love to see what so iFi Audio do next. Anyway, I'm sure you've got some questions. Ask them below. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now.